Good evening, I'm Charla McBride. The woman was taken to the hospital after she was shot at the gun show, where there were not supposed to be any loaded weapons. Investigators say she is expected to recover. News Watch 16's Suzanne Goldman is live with more from Bloomsburg. Charlotte, that vendor was asked to leave the show, and police say he was questioned at the station. And while he may be criminally charged, he is not in custody tonight because police say this was an accident. Outside the Eagle Arms gun show at the Bloomsburg Fairgrounds, the sign plainly states loaded weapons are not allowed. But police in Columbia County say vendor Jeffrey Hawk, the owner of In Case of Emergency, didn't follow that rule and accidentally shot Krista Gerhardt of Orangeville in the thigh with a semi-automatic 380 while he was demonstrating a concealed carry holster, something that's normally done with a plastic model. Well, oftentimes that's what's utilized uh, you know, for, for different types of holsters is uh, demonstration type weapons, which are you know, very similar to the, to the real weapon as far as size and shape. Uh, this one, uh, the vendor was using an a, a actual firearm. Eric Bauer heard the gunfire and the victim scream. Everybody paused for a second, and I guess their initial reaction was making sure there wasn't going to be more, and then they rushed to, to her aid. He said, well, the crowd stayed calm. Some vendors were upset. I think I think some of the dealers were upset because it makes them look bad. Police did shut down one aisle for about an hour so they could investigate, but other than that, it is business as usual at the show through the weekend. Customers say this is the last place they would expect to get shot. Somebody making a stupid mistake. Honest mistake, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't do it. Paul Neff says when weapons are purchased, a tag is placed around the trigger, and that anyone whose livelihood involves firearms can't afford to make a mistake. I think you should have been more careful. Absolutely. And he's a gun owner. He knows better. Now, the organizer of the gun show says he feels very, very bad about what happens, but the show must go on, and tomorrow here at the Bloomsburg Fairgrounds, the gates will be back open at 9 a.m. Suzanne Goldplay, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Columbia County.